this now this is another video request and the request that i got is that Kabe, can't a christian drink alcohol well it doesn't really matter what i believe it doesn't really matter what other people believe it matters what the bible says about it so let's get to the video you're watching Kabe Obugo. Very quick if this is your first time here on my channel my name is Kabe and welcome to my channel consider subscribing and also click on that notification bell so you won't miss any of the next videos the bible is very clear about alcohol drinking alcohol and getting drunk there's a lot of verses about this and the bible says it's wrong to get drunk Ephesians 5 verse 18 says and do not be drunk of wine in which is dissipation but be filled with the spirit in Proverbs 20 verse 1 Bible says wine is a mocker, strong drink is a baller, and whoever is led astray by it is not wise. Now that verse actually explains who some people are. Before becoming Christians, they used to drink a lot, and when they become Christian, God being so gentle, He walks with you, taking away all those things that is not in line, taking away all those things, making you to stop drinking because it is a sin, and and it's part of your own sinful lifestyle. Remember, it's not wrong to drink alcohol, but it is wrong to get drunk. Ecclesiastes says, go, eat your bread with joy, drink your wine with a merry heart. And remember, they even used wine for medicine. Paul said to Timothy in 1 Timothy 5 verse 23, no longer drink only water, but use a little wine for the stomach sick and your frequent infirmities. And you remember the first miracle that Jesus did. He told water, eat wine at the wedding in John chapter 2. Even in Psalm 100 verse 4, he causes the grass to grow and vegetation for the seeds of men, for he may bring forth food from the earth and wine that makes glad the hearts of men. Now you need to know that even though you can enjoy wine, the Bible is very clear in the dangers that lies behind it. Proverbs 23 verse 29 says, who has woe, who has sorrow, who has contention, who has complaints, who has wounds without cause, who has redness of eyes, those who linger long at the wine, those who go in search of mixed wine. Do not look at the wine when it is red or when it sparkles at the cup, when it swirls around smoothly. At the last, it bites like a serpent and stings like a viper. Your eyes will see strange things in your heart and your heart will utter perverse things. Now, God knows the devastating effect that alcohol has on people, especially if you look at the family, when a parent is addicted to alcohol. I personally witnessed how families are destroyed because of alcohol. And that is also why I will never even drink in front of somebody because who really loves drinking because I will not want to cause them to stumble or to keep on sinning. Romans 14 verse 13 says, not to put a stumbling block or a cause to fall in our brother's way. Now, I can remember a lot of people who are alcoholic or who drink, they go, they go to the bottle for a reason. They go there to forget about all the problems in their lives. So they do that instead of choosing God who actually has the power to help them then they choose to go to, they drink, they get drunk, and just for a few hours, they wake up and their problems are still there. The cycle just continues, it gets worse. Now, if you're a Christian, if you say that you're a true Christian, or you make the decision to continually drink, so you make the decision to continually sin, you need to know that you might not enter into the kingdom of God. Galatians chapter 5 verse 19 says, now the works of the flesh are evident, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, rudeness, idolatry, sorcery, hate, pretensions, others of wrath, everything, heresies, murder. Now listen to this, drunkenness, rivalries and the like. Now which I tell you beforehand, just as I told you in time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God. Now this is very clear, but you need to understand this. If you continue to drink and get drunk and feel that it's okay, it's fine, you want to keep on doing it, then you're probably not a real Christian because a real Christian would never want to do anything that is on this list that the Holy because the Holy Spirit will convict you of the sin. But if you are a Christian, remember that we are not perfect and we'll fall at times. But then we need to 
go to God. We need to ask for forgiveness. We need to make it right. And then you need to stop because just saying that God, oh, I have a sinful nature and God is going to forgive me. That's not an excuse. God says you cannot continue to live in sin. So throw away all the alcohol bottles in your home right now. Throw it away and go to someone who you can trust, who can pray for you, who can help you. Don't don't let it drain your family apart because that is not what God wants. That's what the devil wants. He's like a lion walking around, roaring, looking for who he can destroy. Don't let it happen to you. Take a stand today and fight against the power. Fight against this with the power of God. The choice is yours. Either you can go with the devil and believe the lies that comes with it, or you can believe God's word and know that you can overcome this, not through yourself, not through your own power, but the power of God. We want the strength, verse 3 to 7 says, but with God, nothing will be impossible. Now, you need to know how to overcome, how to, how to overcome sin. So please check out this, this um, link right here. But remember, God loves you. And I love you also. So bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like. And I love you.